Hello, it is Justine. Today I'm going to show you what I have left over after making, I believe it is 37 cards with the Under the Sea Magic Card Kit of the Month from Spellbinders, July 2022. Now, if you're interested in seeing all of the cards I've made with this kit specifically, go ahead and find on my channel the video that said all the cards I've made in July with the club um, club memberships and I show you every single card that I've made just not not only with the card cut of the month but the stamp of the month the small die of the month the amazing paper grace die of the month so I will show you those in that video but I am now going to show you all of the materials I have left over so what it comes with. There's um, 10 cards and envelopes, nine pieces of cardstock. So the 10 cards, I used all of those up. The envelopes I have not used yet, but I will be using those when I send out the cards, but I haven't gotten to that point yet. The nine pieces of cardstock, I used every piece of cardstock. I have a little bit left over of the gold mirrored cardstock, but um, that just went into my gold mirrored cardstock stash. Uh, let's see, set of 10 dies. So I have all of the dies left. Um, the dies were um, themed around mermaid or under the sea. So there's little fish, there's bubbles, starfish, seaweed. I will definitely reuse some of those over again. And I actually pulled these dies into a trifold, really awesome birthday card that I made um, this month. So that video is on my channel as well. Um, let's see, 10 dies, the paper pad. Now this is all that is left over from the paper pad. I really tried to use up as much as possible and honestly I could even put these in some of the cards that I made already and put those in the inside. So that is probably my plan for these. But um, if I decide not to do that, I do have just one sandwich size baggie <laughs> um, of card kit or just really paper pad scraps that I keep. And I, I tell, told myself this is all I'm keeping because I don't have a lot of room in my crafting area, so I need to be mindful of that. So this is all that I am keeping and I probably will just stick those into cards and use them another time. So with that off to the side, let's see, we have stamp set puffy alphabet stickers. Now I did not get a chance to use these yet, but I absolutely will. I like to save things like this for custom cards. So if I'm going to spell out someone's name, I want to have those letters ready to go. Um, or um, like a graduation card, you could put the little initials of the school on there. So I just, I like to keep these for those purposes. So I loved these. I, it's not that I didn't like them. They're just going to be saved. All right. Now chipboard embellishments. I did not have many of those left over at all. I had this um, little like horse in the stars. That's chipboard. This is like music notes, a mermaid and a starfish. This is supposed to be kind of like a postcard with a unicorn. And this one that says live for the moment. And one of these magic sentiments is chipboard. So those will be going into my little um, containers and probably be used for something in the future. And let's see, after that we have gemstones. I used almost all of those. Now where did I set those? Here are all of the ones that I have left. As you can see, I've used almost all of them. And I like to keep the uh, leftover gemstones and just other gems that I have in my little area in just this clear package. 
labeled gems as if no one could tell what they are. <laughs> but I really did like the gems, especially from this kit. The gold ones with the gold glitter and this turquoise ones with the purple pinky glitter. Those were just my favorite. So those are going into my little gem area for another project one day. Let's see, die cut shapes. There was a ton of those and I only have two left over. Can you believe it? Only two. And this one is the unicorn and the one that says you are made of magic. So that's it. And now the foam squares, I used all of my foam squares and my adhesive tape. I did use just a little bit, but I have quite a bit left over. So I will use those in the future this in the future but I typically like to use this with my stitching and I like to use my um, automatic tape gun this is called the easy runner grand for just quick crafting so this is nice but this is faster <laughs> so I typically use that um, a little bit more quickly than other ones oh I skipped the stamp stamp set this is the stamp set from the kit, which, um, so the, the dies were more mermaid and the stamps were more fairy and unicorn. But there are just a number of sentiments and I really liked adding these little stars to a lot of the cards that I made. So these are reusable, which is always nice. So now I'm just going to stick them away. So what I will do is I grab these little clear envelopes and I put the stamp set in and then I put the dies kind of facing the other way so when I'm looking for it I can kind of flip it over and go oh yeah mermaids under the sea oh yeah fairies and unicorns so that's all set and since this is kind of like a themed card kit um, and not just like flowers and just kind of like normal things if you will um i'm gonna actually stick these die cut shapes in my envelope now that's not typically what i do but i'm just kind of making the call that's what i'm gonna do for this one since it is kind of if i could pick this up it's kind of like a mystical themed card kit oh do i have a little i have two pieces of die cut things here hiding today is your day and another one that says today is your day is it a sign i don't know is today your day maybe <laughs> i don't know all right and i keep these on my desk in a little folder so that's where this is going to go live and this is going to go in a bin that i have off to the side and i typically will label what the card kit was so if it says under the sea magic I will write under the sea magic and I know based on the shape of the stamp set and the dies and I know that this is from Spellbinder so I'm not even gonna write that on there either and that's it so if you're interested in this card kit I definitely go ahead and subscribe to the card kit of the month before the end of the month so you need to do that six days before the end of the month each month and then you'll be um, receiving the card kit but I always say, if you're interested in the monthly products, jump on it near the beginning of the month because if you're wanting it really badly, go ahead and do that before. All right, well, that's all I got for you today. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed today's video. Bye.